Hey guys and gals, Vlad here with AVT Astro. And today, as always, I've got an interesting Astro topic for you guys. Now, this topic was suggested by one of you guys. One of our fellow amateur astronomers named Astro Ape. So thank you for the recommendation. So have you ever found yourself having a good night, doing some observing, or perhaps some imaging, or perhaps both? As we can see here with the pair of FSQ 106s. And then this happens. Oh, yeah. Got a little bit of frost on there. Fast forward by five hours. All right, guys. So here's the same scope. It's exactly where I left it from last night. It's magic, right? All of the frost is gone. Okay. So this is usually exactly what I do. If you have a garage, what I do is I just bring the scope in, whether it's do it up or frost it over. Just set it down in your garage because usually the garage is not as warm as, you know, the inside of your house. So the temperature differential isn't as big. And it'll just dry up like magic. <clears throat> Same thing with the optics. We'll kind of look at that. <clears throat> now, one thing that I will say, whether you have frost or dew, it doesn't really matter. Typically, you probably will get some, you know, dew residue on your optics. And, you know, if you're kind of not used to that, you know, it's kind of, you know, concerning, I guess. Um, the first time you kind of see that, it'll basically be kind of like little spots on, you know, left on, on your optics. Really nothing wrong with that. I mean, they do wash off pretty easily. Um, you know, typically, like, so last night I didn't have the dew heater running because it actually wasn't very humid. Um, and there wasn't really an issue until I came out, you know, like late in, or really it wasn't late. I know it's early in the morning. To take the scope in but usually if i had my dew heating strap running i wouldn't have that issue so if you know if it is dewy your best way of keeping your optics clean is by running a dew heater basically um as far as the exterior of the scope you know if it's frosted like it was i would not wipe it do not wipe it because there's really no good way of doing that until you know it's kind of defrosted if it's got dew on there, there's really no, you know, harm in wiping it down with like a microfiber cloth, you know, to kind of get some of the dew off. I really honestly don't do that. It's usually just a little dry out. It's fine. Uh, you do not ever want to touch your optics. So if it's dewed up, do not like try to wipe it with anything. If you have like chem wipes, you know, microfiber cloth, you know, unless you have a, some kind of God-given material that is not going to damage your optics, do not wipe them at all, you know, until you're ready to clean them. And really, you shouldn't be cleaning them that often. You know, you should do it at most, like, once a year. Um, so, anyway, so, yeah, that's pretty much what I do with the scope. Um, I just leave it sitting there. I do leave the cap off. So, this has been sitting, you know, like, all morning long with the cap off. Because otherwise, if you put the dust cap on, right... It's just locking all the moisture that was in there in there. And you do not want that because then like fungus can grow and that type of stuff. So you want to make sure that it's nice and dry with the cap off. And right now after I'm done recording this, so I will put the cap back on and we'll be good to go. Now, um, if you're using a scope, this is the other FSQ that I had out. If you're using a scope with an eyepiece, usually this is what I'll do too. I'll leave the eyepieces, you know, that I used on cap. So that's, you know, nice. Um, so, you know, pretty much same thing with the eyepieces. Now, if you did use a scope a lot with, you know, having the end exposed, you could get, uh, I'll, and I'll, I'll post a link in the video, you could get like, I think they're called like disencanted caps, or I don't know how to pronounce it, but anyway, it's like a, an aluminum cap that you put those like moisture absorbent packs in there to kind of get some of the moisture out of the scope. So, you know, that's not a bad idea either if you're kind of worried about it. I do that with some of my scopes. Most of them I honestly don't. Uh, if it's a sealed system like this with the camera, I usually don't worry about it. All right, so another tip that I did want to point out, if you use any kind of, you know, eyepiece cases, like I love Pelican cases, right? This is actually my eyepiece case right here. So these typically are waterproof, right? 
So there's a seal, you know, right here that makes it waterproof. Now, one thing that I will point out, you have to keep, you know, think about this logically. If it's waterproof and it won't let water inside, right, it also won't let water out either. So typically, if I use this case outside and I'm, you know, observing with it, right, it'll get like, you know, you know a bunch of dew, a bunch of moisture in there too. The last thing that you want to do is close this thing up after a night of observing and, you know, like lock these latches. Because if you do that, guess what's going to happen? all that water that was in there from like doing stuff it's going to be locked in there and it's going to get all moldy and stuff so that's the other thing that i highly recommend doing if you have do you have a waterproof case of some sort you got to leave this sucker open let it get nice and dry so now i'm not going to make this video you know too terribly long hopefully this was helpful for you guys if you guys have any questions comments or anything like that leave them in the thumb below if you're not subscribed again please do consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye